ABC 15 obtained new video in the Preston Lord murder case after a second suspect in this case is released on bond today. We are keeping our promise to stay on top of this case. Our Ashley Holden is breaking down that new video you'll only see right here on ABC 15. It was a big bus for local authorities, four shipping containers full of illegal fireworks. New tonight, as we learn more about the investigation, police say it's only the beginning of a big crackdown this holiday weekend. But first, we start tonight with the big story. Arizona Representative Raul Grijalva calling on President Joe Biden to withdraw from the 2024 presidential race. Telling the New York Times that Biden needs to, quote, shoulder the responsibility for keeping that seat. And part of that responsibility is to get out of this race. Grijalva, the second House Democrat, to take this stance. And the ABC 15 political team has that team coverage tonight. Those remarks aren't the only big development. What we saw in there today was a guy who was the guy that all of us believed in the first time who could beat Donald Trump and did beat Donald Trump. With that, we thank you. Democratic governors just met with President Biden behind closed doors. Governor Hobbs attending virtually. And this comes after Biden's de debate performance last week that even he admits missed the mark. Yeah, Rachel Louise Jess with our ABC 15 political team is here to get us up to speed, spending the day getting in touch with some key decision makers. Yeah, our ABC 15 political team spoke with dozens of the 85 Democratic delegates from Arizona. They're the ones who would grant Biden that nomination officially in August. And while many said they remained solidly supportive of Biden, some weren't. One delegate even told us they'd rather have a different candidate. Others expressed some hesitations, calling the debate a poor performance. I do think the next uh, 48, 72 hours, even through the weekend, are critically important for how this campaign goes forward. In a White House briefing today, reporters grilled Biden's press secretary on the state of the campaign. Is President Biden considering stepping down? Absolutely, absolutely not. And you heard, I, think, I believe, directly from the campaign as well. Now, as for the meeting those Democratic governors just had with the president, I reached out to Governor Hobbs' office, but I'm told she's not commenting right now. However, the governor spoke outside the White House tonight. They gave no indication that President Biden has any plans to bow out of this race. All right, we'll be hearing directly from President Biden in an ABC uh, News exclusive this week. Catch part of his first TV interview since that debate Friday at 530 on World News Tonight. While still in the minority, the number of Democrats calling for Biden to withdraw from the race continues to grow. ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer takes us inside the numbers on why there is concern amongst Democrats, especially after last week's debate. Donald Trump, by almost all polling measures, won last week's debate, and he has been leading in the 538 polling average nearly every day since at least March. President Biden then slowly started getting some of that ground back. He even led for a short time in the average just before the debate. But as you can see, in the weeks since the debate, uh, Trump has taken back the polling edge. But again, these are the averages. The polls themselves will have different leads. Uh, and it's not just Biden's numbers against Trump in the hypothetical if the election were held today question that is worrying Democrats uh, Biden's job approval rating is near the bottom when compared to all other presidents since Jimmy Carter 1261 days into his presidency Biden's job approval rate is around 37 percent that's lower than all four presidents who went on to win re-election of the three presidents who did not it's about the same as George H.W. Bush's approval rating at the same time uh, finally while polling also shows the majority of the Democratic base supports Biden staying in the race the levels of support are not great a survey USA poll one in three Democrats say that Biden should not continue his run. 43% of the Democrats agreed that Biden was too old in a Data for Progress poll. And in a New York Times Siena poll just released, 45% of Democrats do not think that Joe Biden should remain the party's nominee. So if you do hear anything or read anything about Democrats calling on Biden to withdraw, now you know have an idea of why. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona. And early voting for Arizona's primaries starts today. Independent voters can vote in these partisan elections, but they do have to pick one party's ballot. That's something one Arizona group wants to change. Make Elections Fair Arizona turning in signatures today for a constitutional amendment, throwing out our current system of separate primaries for each party and then replacing it with a single nonpartisan primary.
see our nation's biggest problems get punted down the road. You don't see bipartisan water solutions in Arizona. You don't see education issues that are bipartisan uh, being solved. Um, it's two parties fighting with each other all the time. Okay, so before this gets to your November ballot, the Secretary of State's office must validate these signatures. Voters in November will then also see a competing constitutional amendment. This one, though, referred by lawmakers requiring separate partisan primaries. Trust ABC 15 to help you prepare for the primary. We've made it so easy to find. We've got several exclusive one-on-ones with candidates as well as primary race debates. It is all on abc15.com election.